This is Wayne here with Tri-County Locksmith Service and today we're going to review the ASA High Security Deadbolt Lock. Um, ASA is the high security company that I choose to go with. Um, it's kind of expensive to get into the, the pinning kits and the, the different systems and you've got Medicos and Multilocks and Primus and all these different cylinders, um, but ASA is the one that I think has the most well-rounded aspect and um, a lot of the things on this deadbolt right here are, are, are why, the features of it. Um, the bolt is very, very heavy duty. Um, it's got the ball bearings here. Uh, it's got cut resistance. It's stainless steel, so it doesn't cut with a sawzall. Um, and once you engage these ball bearings into the supplied um, coupler here, uh, they kind of spread out and catch. And then, the door can't be pulled apart no matter what you can see and these are very very strong stainless steel ball bearings so even if somebody has some sort of prying tool or bar trying to get into the door you're still not going to defeat this plus it's got the best kick resistance of any deadbolt on the market um, these in medicos the medico deadbolts uh, did very very well in testing um, the consumer reports testing they're the only ones that pass the kick test and they're the only ones that pack pass the uh, pick and lock bumping test um, so they're both really good I just choose to go with the ASA's because of the pinning system inside um, ASA uses stainless steel pins and then you'll also notice we'll kind of compare this here you can see it's an all brass cylinder okay and then it's also a very very heavy-duty key uh, that comes with this very thick, very, very heavy duty key, and it's got the side pinning here. This is the uh, Twin 6000, is the version that we're looking at here. And the reason it's called a twin is because it's almost like two keys. It has bidding down here and then bidding up here, along with a sidebar um, that virtually eliminates picking. There are some videos of some people that say they've picked them. Whatever, I don't know. Uh, maybe they have. I mean, you put a thousand monkeys for a thousand years and maybe one of them will write Shakespeare. Maybe somebody picked one of them at one time. I don't know. But I really, really doubt that it's a common occurrence. Um, it's a highly, highly unlikely occurrence that somebody's picking these. Very, very good. Very, very tight locks. Um, you can see, like, on this quick set here, how everything is very hollow inside. It's all hollowed out in here. And it's all aluminum. Um, this is a cheap residential uh, junk lock that needs to go in the garbage can. Um, you can feel the weight of these. Uh, they've had twist testing, and because of the heavy, heavy-duty um, bolts that they use, these right here, they're not overpowered like these little screws here. This is a much heavier-duty, heavier-duty, hardened. Um, Allen head bolt that goes in there and it it really really holds up you can't put a pipe wrench on them and turn them over they've basically taken all the major attack methods and addressed them and addressed them in a very very aggressive manner uh, this is I mean this, these are the best high security locks that you can put on your door right now I feel um, inside here, in this little kit, they'll give you some ball bearings. So the attack of trying to drill out the screws is um, denied, stainless steel. Uh, they'll stop any drill bit, and then if you have carbide drill bits, you know, they're not very sharp, they're just going to spin on these. It's just going to spin and deflect. Uh, same way with the pinning. That's one of the things I want to show here is also uses stainless steel pins okay so not only do they have stainless steel inserts for drilling resistance in the lock itself um, every single pin is stainless steel and anybody that's ever tried to drill a lock out or drill into stainless steel or hardened stainless steel knows that a drill bit hits that and then it deflects off so medicos have one or two or three of them in the lock cylinder themselves uh, around here protecting the sidebar and the main pins, but each pin is brass. It is not stainless steel like these these the top pins are stainless steel the bottom pins are stainless steel and these um, The uh, finger pins on the side 
that control the sidebar. These are all stainless steel too. So that all adds up to um, what I feel just really has the best well-rounded aspect of all the, the deadbolt systems out there and the high security systems. There are other ones, there's multi-lock, uh, Schleg has Primus. Primus doesn't have the anti-drill um, stainless steel inserts or stainless steel pins. You could probably add stainless steel pins to make them better um, for the Schleg Primus setup. But, uh, you know, it's, it's why, why do you want to do that? You want to buy something that's going to just be right out of the box ready to go. Uh, consumer, do be warned that when you get these locks, um, they're not going to come keyed. They're not going to come with anything in them. They're not going to come with keys. I've already set this one up because that's, I'm just used to being able to set everything up and um, have it ready to go when I need it. But uh, they will not come keyed. They will not come with the sidebar. They will not come with anything you need. They come with finger pins and that's it. Other than that, you need to put, choose your sidebar control and you need to choose your bidding. Um, so it's always best to have a locksmith set that up for you. So that's gonna be true with the Primus or Medicos too. So going with these high security cylinders is a great way to go. And I think Asa really has the, uh, the top of the mark on that. For more information, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com.